up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to this channel i'm gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today i am super excited because we are in the brand new 2024 ford mustang gt courtesy of bob ruth ford in dillsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one obviously because it has been completely redesigned for 2024 some of you guys may already know i did own a 2019 ford mustang gt finished in need for green i named it stangosaurus and did plenty of modifications to it and had an absolute blast with that car and best part of all you got a stripe on the seatbelts this year, so it can't get any better than that. But ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2024 mustang gt first one being the fastback starting at forty two thousand four hundred ninety five dollars you got the premium fastback which is the one we are in today starting at forty seven thousand fifteen dollars and lastly the premium convertible going for fifty two thousand five hundred and fifteen dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the mustang gt is going to be the same powering the beast is a gen 4 coyote 5 liter naturally aspirated v8 putting out 480 80 horsepower at 7500 rpm but 486 horsepower if you go with that active valve exhaust system then you got 415 pound feet of torque coming in at 4900 rpm power sent to the rear wheels of course through a six speed manual with rev matching yes that's still available or a 10 speed automatic with paddle shifters which is optional and that actually is the one that we have today i think that option goes for like 15 or 1600 dollars in case you're interested zero to 60 time is going to differ between the two transmission setups of course Zero to 60 time for the manual is coming in at 4.3 seconds for the automatic, approximately 3.9 seconds. Having said that, those were the same numbers for my 2019 Mustang GT. And keep in mind, those are more drag strip numbers. You're probably not gonna get those on the street. Uh, unless it's just absolutely pristine conditions possibly but anyways mpg numbers then coming in at 15 in the city 24 on the highway funny thing is though uh when you open up the gas cap it does say 87 octane or higher but i don't think i ever put 87 octane into my mustang gt so let me know in the comments i literally just filled this thing up with premium let me know if you put premium or regular gas in your mustang but anyways before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in our mustang gt i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes and so all of the drive modes this year they're no longer a toggle switch located kind of around the climate control stuff it's actually located on the steering wheel now so on the left side of the steering wheel is where you're going to find your drive modes they're going to include normal sport slippery drag track and custom adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity the suspension settings and actually the gauge cluster a little bit as well if you wanted to do it that way then there is also some steering feel drive modes on the right side of the steering wheel and that obviously is going to be where you're able to adjust the heaviness of that steering Steering feel. I currently have it in that sports steering feel. We'll get more into that later, but it is such a nice steering feel. But anyways, now that I've got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the paddle shifters here to the test and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here. All right, we got it in full manual shift mode. We're in first gear. Keep in mind, it is raining out. It is super wet, but here's the paddle shifter test in three, two, one, go. All right, I can't give it that much. <laughs> Not bad, yeah. Paddle shifters are perfectly fine, so it's not gonna be like Porsche good, but they are dang good. So absolutely no issues with that. Instantly shifts through the gears. So I'm a big fan of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and get back full control to the Mustang here. I'm just gonna slap the shifter up a little bit. Still in sport driving mode, but let's go ahead and find it straight away. I think this is just gonna be nuts, this acceleration test, because it is just absolutely wet out. So I'm probably not gonna be able to give it everything, but Let's go ahead and put this thing to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 Ford Mustang GT here up to speed. Now let's do it here, actually, yeah. Three, two, one, go! Trying. <laughs> That's not bad. Even in the rain, I actually put power down to the ground pretty darn good. I remember at my old Mustang GT, I just sliding all over the place. These tires are good actually, so surprising. Anyways, that was a heck of a lot of fun, even in the rain, but to go along with that acceleration, my very favorite part of this car, braking is equally important. Why do I say that? Because up front, standard setup, 14 inch ventilated front discs, in the back, 14 inch solid rear discs, but 
there are larger Brembo performance front brakes available with the performance package. And there's also a standalone option that we happen to have with us here today. And that's gonna be absolutely massive 19 inch ventilated front discs with Brembo six piston front calipers with the red calipers matching the red exterior and the white Brembo lettering. You gotta love that. And let me tell you guys, I've driven Porsche. I've driven supercars. I actually drove the Gran Turismo not too long ago. In terms of braking, this is my very favorite braking feel, my very favorite braking that I've ever experienced in any of my past seven or 800 drives, whatever it's been now at this point, I don't even know anymore, but I had to get used to this braking feel because it is 100% different than my 2019 Mustang GT that I had with the performance package, mind you. So back when I had that performance package, I remember the ventilated front discs were 15 inches but now they have an available 19 inches is what we have today. And in terms of that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in under a hundred feet. I'm used to saying upper 120s, if not 130s, but 99 feet. You have to get used to the braking feel in this thing because it is so touchy. You just barely hit the brakes and it instantly wants to throw you forward and come to a complete stop. So it is of course something that you do get used to. So don't worry about it being too touchy, but I'm telling you guys, the braking feel in the Mustang GT, this 2024, absolutely freaking ridiculous. I love it. So Ford, you outdone yourself on this. But anyways, that touching on suspension and handling, of course you're gonna get an independent front and rear suspension. Performance pack does add a good bit to those suspension components, including heavy duty front springs and unique chassis tuning as well. And then there is an available Magna Ride damping suspension that goes for $1,750 if you were interested. And let me tell you guys, that is one you wanna be interested in. That is an optional setup, but it does kind of give you the best of both worlds and you can immediately tell the difference. I have driven a Mustang with that particular suspension before. Essentially what that is, is this is an adaptive damping suspension. So it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the rotor perfections, giving you a smoother ride, and that's where the most noticeable difference is, but it also tightens up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling. So again, giving you the best of both worlds. So. If you really want the very best possible Mustang, I would highly recommend that one because it is a 100% noticeable difference. In terms of ride quality, it actually isn't that bad today, but you can tell the difference with the Magna Ride damping suspension. It is a much smoother ride. It's almost luxury-like. And then you got the better handling as well. So speaking of handling, the handling and the steering feel, there's like no body roll in this thing. It's absolutely amazing. It instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. I'm just going to keep doing this for the rest of my drive because this is wonderful. Yep. As far as cabin noise goes, you do get a little bit of road noise, of course. That's to be expected in any sports car or muscle car, whatever you want to call it. But it, it's, it's fine. It's something that I personally wouldn't have any issues with. And the exhaust sound is really what gets me in terms of cabin noise. I love the exhaust sound. And yes, there'll be an exhaust clip. So stay tuned for that. That's coming later in the video. But as far as visibility goes, I can see 100% perfectly fine out of my rear view mirror as I always have in my 2019 Mustang GT. Certainly 100% better than the Camaro without a doubt. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand spanking new 2024 Ford Mustang GT. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Ford Mustang GT finished in rapid red metallic. In case you were curious of the exact exterior color name, with the farm in the background gotta love it but again completely redesigned for 2024 as always let's go ahead and start with where this one is made though taking a look at the van first character is the number one indicating that the ford mustang is built and assembled here in the u.s specifically of course michigan so let's go ahead and start up front on this one led projector headlights do come standard with led signature lighting do also have the functional hood vents let me go ahead and touch on that real quick let me get up a little closer so i can actually show you guys but Yes, this isn't just for show. I don't know if you guys can tell with the camera angle, but they actually do allow some ventilation for that massive V8 under that hood to breathe a little bit. So I do like that. But here's one that I noticed was new for 2024 EcoBoost as well. What are these dinky little lights in the front grille? This is the question I posed on the EcoBoost video. Nobody answered me yet. I guess they're just uh, added illumination. I don't know, but this 
interesting design cue i'll just put it that way but automatic feature coming with those headlights as well meaning when it starts to get dark out at night the headlights will turn on automatically for you there you also get automatic high beams coming standard as well though so if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there so definitely a very nice convenient feature there but overall i love the design to the new headlights so it's like a triple beam effect kind of like lexus does so triple beam projector led headlights so that's going to be the best possible setup as opposed to the led reflector so added illumination at night there but definitely a very nice looking front end but Having said that, let's go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, and so now since we are around to the side of the GT here, 5.0 badging found on those front fenders, of course, for the 5 liter. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard. They will be heated with LED integrated turret signals only if you go with the premium that we have today. Also with the premium though, it does also give you those pony projection lights from those side mirrors that are gonna kind of project the pony logo onto the ground at night. Not gonna be able to see it in the daytime, unfortunately, but did wanna mention that to you guys as well. Then take a look down at the wheel setup, 19 by 8.5 inch aluminum alloys do come standard, 19 by nine inches up front and 19 by 9.5 inches in the back for the performance pack. And of course, there are plenty of optional wheel configurations available to really make this one your own if you wanted to. I do like the matte black side skirts. I remember that from mine as well. So overall, those calipers and those brakes behind the wheels look absolutely gigantic. And again, it's my very favorite part of the driving dynamics on this one. But now let's go ahead and make our way around to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way to the top, you guys can see you got that body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, you got that rear deck lid spoiler that just comes standard. Of course, with the performance pack though, it will be a raised up more aggressive looking rear spoiler. I think you guys probably know what that looks like already, but I love the look of that. That's actually what I originally had on my 2019 Mustang until I went with the Cervini rear spoiler but anyways led sequential taillights of course coming standard in typical mustang fashion so i'm going to give you guys some b-roll shot here essentially when you turn the turret signals on it's going to look like the led lights are sliding from one side to the other i like that i like the gt lettering too it's not just a solid color it's got the silver perimeter this year so that is pretty cool and usually around this time i tell you guys to go ahead and like the video and subscribe i've been reviewing cars for nine years now so go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are into new car reviews i would greatly appreciate it. But of course, down below, you do have dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips, quad tips on the performance pack, of course. But did want to also mention, though, that active valve performance exhaust that goes for $1,225. That is an option we do not unfortunately have today. But I will say, when I originally started this car up, I did hear some pops. So this should be entertaining. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around to the back of this one, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob. There is also a rubberized button just above the license plate essentially. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 13.5 cubic feet for the fastback, 11.4 cubic feet then for the convertible. If that was not enough space, of course, there is a 50-50 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for a little bit of extra space then if you needed it. There are some cargo net hooks found in that cargo area. There is also a massive subwoofer for our optional Bang & Olufsen sound system that we have with us here today. So that's pretty cool. But tire inflator kit then found underneath of that cargo floor as opposed to the spare tire but then make our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 29 inches even i'm not even going to try it i've had a mustang i don't fit so not a whole lot of space in that second area i'm not gonna not gonna lie but anyways making our way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating coming standard however the premium trim that we have today does add a power driver seat with power lumbar four-way power adjustable passenger seat and then you also get heated and ventilated front seats then up front as well do you want to add one more thing there are optional recaro leather seats available they go for sixteen hundred and fifty dollars you can get them in a nice white i saw online which is pretty cool but 
Anyways, overall, as far as seat comfort goes, they were plenty comfortable. I never had any issues of my Mustang either, but then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is going to be leather wrapped. You do now get a flat bottom as well. That didn't used to be the case in the one I had, but it's also going to be heated then for the premium trim level only. But then make our way up to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. Take a look at the one side. You got your Mustang logo when you flip it over. Lock, unlock the button to pop the rear trunk there. And of course, there is a remote start, which is going to be optional actually on all trim levels but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button and so once started up this gauge cluster is absolutely amazing 12.4 inch digital cage cluster does come standard on all trim levels across the board sometimes when manufacturers put digital gauges in they just make it stagnant they just make it one image but with ford they did it beautifully because there are so many different loadouts including a fox body digital gauge cluster how stinking cool is that or you could also set it just to adjust based on the drive mode that you have it in at any given time so that can adjust it that way as well so overall gauge are amazing it has all your basics as well like trip a trip b outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty but absolutely amazing gauge cluster in this thing but now let's go ahead and touch on overall interior quality i always like to mention this first no there is no moonroof for the mustang so somebody is always going to ask but overhead sunglass holder actually does come standard that's pretty cool home light controls for the premium trim level carbon fiber pattern found on the doors i liked seeing that there is that mustang logo then found just above the passenger side glove box that's pretty cool too wireless phone charger coming with the premium trim level that we have today dual cup holders of course coming standard there is an electromechanical part parking brake right around there as well and within the center armrest there's a decent amount of space you do have some lighting in there too though so i liked that and actually a 12 volt power outlet too so that's definitely pretty nice but also aluminum foot pedals for the premium trim level i don't want to forget to mention that if you don't go with the premium just go with the base fastback you are going to get black foot pedals so but perhaps my favorite part about the interior quality is probably the ambient lighting and that's what it was in my mustang as well they did the ambient lighting dang good in this thing it's like it's illuminated everywhere around the foot pedals it's also in the uh the inside of the door handles on the side doors there it's also uh, illuminated door sills uh in this specific color that you choose to make it and there's so many different colors you can pick i actually just set this one up on red just because we have the red exterior but plenty of different options there so ford once again did an amazing job with the interior lighting on this mustang but then make your way to the infotainment screen a 13.2 inch color touchscreen display it does come standard across the board i love it it is massive sync 4 system by the way bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard android auto apple carplay of course factory navigation system is going to be optional you do get your ambient lighting colors you can scroll through up there that's how i adjusted it and uh, you also have your gauge cluster loadouts as well up there so if you wanted to change the gauges you do that through the infotainment screen and of course you can check out your radio information up there as well and so when it comes to the sound systems there are three of them total six speakers is going to come standard on that bass fastback however nine speakers are going to come standard on the premium trim levels and that's the convertible as well of course and then there's an optional 12 speaker bang and olfson sound system and that's going to be a premium package but that actually is the one that we have today so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> That's the Bang & Olufsen sound system. That is dang good. Ton of bass, plenty of clarity. That's just a really, really good sound system for the Mustang without a doubt. I love it. And so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Mustang in reverse. Of course, you will find a rear view camera, but this one is an extremely high definition rear view camera. I'm not used to seeing it this high definition, so I love that. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, a.k.a. lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Tire pressure monitoring system, but... All the advanced safety comes with a package called Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus. That goes for $1,095. That is going to give you adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, road departure warning, blind spot assist, and speed limit recognition then as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, yes, I love this car. I still love this car. Absolutely amazing. 
incredible braking with the 19 inch braking package. That was absolutely insane. The brakes are so touchy and immediately tries to throw you through the windshield. It's absolutely amazing. Great acceleration, of course, as to be expected. Great tech as well. It did not have this when I had my 2019. I love these digital gauges, for example, and the massive infotainment screen now as well. Great ambient lighting. I just touched on that. The only constructive criticism I can think of is uh, it's not an IHS top safety pick. And I guess you wouldn't expect most sports cars to be, but I still wouldn't have minded seeing that. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that's what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.